On this video, I demonstrate shaping and finishing apple turnovers, which are made from the basic croissant dough recipe shown on my website. I fully demonstrated the technique for making croissant dough on my video all about croissants. You can access that and the apple filling recipe and the cutting diagram shown here on the website. I'll demonstrate this process by making six turnovers. Here you have the apple filling and just a little bit of water at which you use as glue. There's enough filling here for the six turnovers so I'll just put it into the center. Try to keep it away from the edges. It is fairly runny and I, with the spoon I try to kind of squeeze out a little bit of the, the juice so that it doesn't get too, too wet on the croissant or the turnover I mean. Now while I'm doing this um, I'll just demonstrate uh, or I'll just explain the next step. Um, once these are finished being filled and set on the tray you're going to set them aside for it could be an hour, it could be two hours depending on the the heat in your room to rise and what I like to do is just invert a tray over top of them to keep them the air off them so that they can proof or rise slowly and out of drafts. And towards the end when they're almost doubled in size you should get your oven set for uh, 375 degrees and get it preheating. You want it to go into a hot oven. So back to this process here. Flip the corner over glue it a little bit with water and then stick it together. Now these will fit six on a tray that you're going to line with parchment paper. When they're proofed you're going to egg wash them very carefully because they are quite fragile. And here you see them out of the oven. They've been in 20-25 minutes and I'm using a sieve that's uh, filled with icing sugar. Just gently tapping it over the uh, top so that it will come out gently and in a fine stream. That's quite optional. You can do that or not. It's up to yourself whether you like the way they look or not. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.